Amazon Prime's Invincible is praised for its gritty storytelling, visceral gore, and brutal fight scenes, a rarity in adult animated shows. But here's the bombshell nobody's discussing. This series might not be just fiction. It's a 5,000-year-old history lesson disguised as a superhero saga. Let me explain. This theory began when I dissected the show's central villains, the Viltrumites. These genocidal aliens aren't just generic sci-fi antagonists. Every facet of their culture, from their obsession with strength to their collapsing population, mirrors humanity's most infamous conquerors, the Yamnaya, the proto-Indo-European steppe nomads. This isn't accidental. Let's start with the glaring parallels. Viltrumites purge their weak through ritual combat forcing their we own have created kind a to perfect prove their civilization, worth in fights to the but death. But it took all of our strength, determination, and courage to get there. In order for our people to reach their full potential, we had to remove the weak from our society. It was a long and difficult process. When it was over, our population was cut in half. But what emerged from the ashes was unstoppable. Now, rewind 5,000 years. Anthropologists studying Yamnaya remains, proto-Indo-European nomads from the Eurasian steppe, unearthed skeletons with shattered skulls, broken noses, and healed combat wounds. These weren't war casualties. They were evidence of a society that ritualized violence to eliminate the unfit, exactly like the Viltrumites. Even their women bore these injuries, mirroring Viltrumite culture where female warriors fight as viciously as males. This brutality wasn't unique to men. Here's a chilling side note. The myth of Amazonian warrior women was likely inspired by Scythians, steppe nomad descendants whose graves contain battle-scarred female skeletons buried with weapons. We'll circle back to the Scythians, but first, imagine being a Neolithic farmer encountering the Yamnia, these nomads would have seemed almost superhuman. Fueled by meat-heavy diets and harsh nomadic lifestyles, Yamnia men averaged six feet tall, a height rivaling modern Dutch averages. To shorter grain-fed farmers, they'd look like Viltrumite titans descending from the steppe. But the show's writers didn't stop at surface-level comparisons. They hid a genetic secret in Mark Grayson's DNA. Mark, the half-human, half-Viltrumite hero, isn't just a protagonist. He's a walking metaphor for hybrid vigor. Let's unpack this. Later steppe groups like the Scythians and Turkic peoples mixed with East Eurasian populations, creating hybrid warriors who eventually conquered the Yamnaya's pure-blood descendants. Mark's mom, Debbie, is intentionally cast as East Asian, a nod to history's pattern. The steppe groups who later dominated Europe, like the Huns, weren't pure Yamnaya, but hybrids with East Eurasian ancestry. Even Mark's Viltrumite Thraxen brother Oliver reinforces this. As a hybrid, Oliver symbolizes the future, much like the Mongols, a mixed steppe group who absorbed new technologies and tactics to build history's largest contiguous empire. The message? Adaptation beats purity. Steppe nomads who integrated survived, those clinging to pure blood, like the Yamnaya's Caucasus descendants, lost their language and identity. Now let's talk about the Scourge virus, the bioweapon that decimated pure-blooded Viltrumites. When Omni-Man reveals only 50 remain, it's not just sci-fi drama. This mirrors the Yamnaya's real-world collapse. Their Caucasus descendants, genetically pure but culturally stagnant, were overtaken by mixed groups who carried their legacy forward. Sound familiar? The coalition of planets' bioweapon mirrors how sedentary civilizations like Rome eventually out-innovated nomads. But Invincible twists the knife. In Season 3's trailers, the Immortals' tyrannical future reign hints that even hybrids like Mark aren't immune to history's cycles of violence. Conquest is an addiction and everyone relapses. Case in point, in alternate universes, Mark joins Omni-Man's genocidal crusade. What truly binds Viltrumites to steppe nomads, though, is their cult of death. For both, 
dying peacefully is a disgrace. Omni-Man's redemption arc, seeking an honorable death after his atrocities, mirrors the Allen tribesmen who viewed aging men as cowards. The Sakas of Kazakhstan took it further, euthanizing elders as liabilities. Then there's Battle Beast, the ultimate embodiment of this principle. Cursed with uncontrollable strength, he roams the galaxy seeking death in battle, a direct parallel to Scythian warriors who drank from skulls and tattooed their kills onto their skin. But the most controversial parallel? Angstrom Levy. At first glance, his design, a black scientist with a giant head, seems to reference Yakub, a figure from Nation of Islam lore who allegedly created the white race. But this comparison collapses under scrutiny. Levy isn't crafting a new race, he's fighting Viltramite conquest using interdimensional science. Here's the kicker. If Viltramites mirror steppe nomads, ancestors of many Europeans, Levy's war becomes a metaphor for anti-colonial resistance. Freeze frame his season two finale scenes, and you'll spot maps of the Eurasian steppe, the Yamnaya's homeland in the background. Coincidence? Hardly. So why does this matter? Because Invincible isn't just entertainment, it's a cautionary tale. The Yamnaya didn't vanish. They became us. Their DNA flows in 40% of Europeans. Their languages birthed English, Spanish, Hindi, and Persian. Their conquests shaped civilizations. But there's a dark lesson here. Only those who integrated survived. The Yamnaya's pure descendants faded into obscurity while mixed groups like the Scythians and Turks built empires. The final question isn't whether Mark will defeat the Viltramites, it's whether he'll become them. History repeats, and cycles rarely break. The Yamnaya's mixed descendants, Europeans, Scythians, Turkic peoples, all built empires as brutal as their ancestors. Will Mark succumb to the same fate? Season 3's trailers hint at a Viltramite civil war. Sound familiar? It's the same infighting that shattered steppe nomad empires throughout time. If this theory rewired your brain, smash the like button. It tells YouTube's algorithm you crave more deep dives. Subscribe and let us know in the comments if you like this type of content.